And starting now, first responders like police will be issued the drug naloxone, also known as Narcan. Now that drug can save the life of a person overdosing on opioids. Governor Phil Bryan says he made the decision to arm first responders with the anti-overdose drug naloxone after his opioid and heroin task force showed him it can help save lives in an overdose situation. The naloxone DMH is providing today is the medication that can block or reverse the effects of opioids, particularly in an overdose situation. A first responsibility uh, is to stop those that are losing their lives. Uh, these are not people in back alleys. These are our neighbors, our friends, and our family members. All sworn officers of the Department of Public Safety were given the drugs today. First responders in high-risk areas like Hines, Madison, and Rankin counties will get special training before they receive the life-saving drug. Yesterday, new statistics came out saying that we lose 142 people a day to drug overdoses in the United States. That's not acceptable. That's 994 people a, a week, nearly 52,000 a year. Authorities say most overdoses happen outside of a medical setting, and first responders, like police, are sometimes first on the scene where time matters most. Everybody matters or nobody matters. There may be people who say, why are we making this effort to try to save people who suffer from the disease of addiction? Like I said, everybody matters or nobody matters. Now, the Mississippi Department of Mental Health says while naloxone can reverse the effects of an overdose, its effects are actually limited. An overdose situation can still happen if the overdose victim does not get professional medical attention before this drug wears off.